All right, I just got along 2,500 shares of JP Morgan at 4291 market had a big sell off after it hit that 1411.75 high intraday yesterday, we closed at 1450 and a low today of 1390 half. So essentially, we're 10 points down from the prior day's close. And 1394, which is about a dollar 25 off of where we're currently trading, is the open of the day. So if we could get back up to the open, I think that um, this JP Morgan should be able to get over the $43 level. All right, I'm also going to long 10 contracts, try to get long at half. No. Okay, we did get long at half, and I'm still long that JP Morgan from 91. Here we go, JP Morgan's moving up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dish five out after one point at uh, 91 half and then go manage this JP Morgan position. All right, I wanna get 43.02 out of this. But just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna try to dish out 1500 at 96. All right, got filled there. Have a thousand left. I'll go ahead and put our order out there at two. All right, we just got tagged on five contracts at 91 half. All right, I gotta take profits. I got filled at 91. The market just wasn't doing what I expected. Just sold out the JP Morgan too. All right, I only ended up making 45 on that trade. A good thing I took the 1,500 shares when I did, but we came up, we couldn't get above 43. What's that? What that's showing me is that we have relative strength in the financials, and it's real. We see Goldman off over 2% today, and that's a market bellwether. The ES couldn't really rally. Now we see it coming back off about to tag a new intraday low. I was thinking we were gonna have a reversal, but again, we couldn't hold above the 91.25. And there it is, a new low's tagged, so. I'm gonna look for some weak stocks right now. This would this would be the reversal area if we were going to reverse at the 75. I might tag. I might do a little uh, five lot trade on this. Because this would be the reversal area. All right. It looks like they're going to run it now. All right, see, so what happened? This is the smart money. I'm going to take a trade right here at uh, F50 if I could get filled. All right, we got filled at 50. The reason I just took this trade, and I have another five out still, is because this is what they did. See, this was the low of the day, and 
89.75 is our major support level. So what they did is not only did they take out the low of the day, they triggered the stops right here, that's what the smart money did, but they took out this and they triggered the smart money there. So I'm pretty confident with this 10 lot contract, average price 1390.25. There we go. Put five out there at ninety one half. And now JP Morgan just ripped up to that 4302. All right, we just got filled on our trade for the futures. I'm gonna go nurse that position. I'm just showing you what JP Morgan is looking like. You know, I don't get greedy here. I start scaling out of my positions the more we move up. Cool, two contracts left. I'm trying to improve on holding my positions longer. I want to get 93 out of this. I'm going to put one out there at half. All right, they filled me on my one contract at half. Other one out there at 93. Sevens print. There we go, 93s. We got filled. All right, that was a good trade. Uh, so now we're up. $1,162 trading the e-mini futures contracts for the day and we're up I think it's 45 on that JP Morgan unfortunately